Hello, I'm Sibran Dijkstra. I'm the CEO of App Machine, and I'm going to show you how you build an uh, app, the fast lane. So you log into our CMS uh, with your credentials, and you see the overview of your apps over here. And to the left, you see the um, iPhone simulator. So I'm going to create a new app. Let's build an app for uh, my uh, Armin. Van Buren, let's build an app for Armin van Buren and we can scan his website arminvanburen.com so this is an uh, optional uh, crawler and we're now uh, sending a little robot to the website of Armin van Buren uh, hunting for uh, interesting uh, assets uh, like uh, the socials, uh, videos and RSS feeds so these are the Facebook accounts that we found. There's Armin van Buren, that's the one that I like. And we found a few uh, Twitter accounts. So let's grab the Armin and Armada Twitter account. Found also some RSS feeds. Uh, if you want, you can have a look at uh, a feed. Well, this looks definitely like an RSS feed to me. So let's take this one. Next we've got skins, we've got uh, some basic skins and uh, advanced skins with nice uh, uh, animations. So let's grab uh, this orange uh, skin. Uh, you can design every pixel uh, later on of your app. So uh, this is our CMS. To the left you have the Lego blocks, the construction of your app. These blocks are already found by the crawler. To the right you have the real-time uh, preview of your app. So I can have a look over here at the information or I can select information over here and you have the information screen so over here we found some videos and you see when you select Armin van Buren uh, here are the videos and this is a real iPhone that you're looking at it's really fun and you see the videos live in your browser so everything you do it's uh, live over here's the information so I can enter some new info over here or I can go to the website uh, arminvanburen.com uh, grab some information that's interesting and just paste it over here in our CMS and it's there in the phone okay font size is a little too big so I'm gonna change the size to 24 here we go so um, this information screen we have a top image over here if you want you can select images we provide you with uh, lots of uh, default images so if you want to put clouds in your app uh, you can put the clouds in there or uh, you can uh, select images from the web scan the scan we did uh, before over here are all the images so I could uh, grab something over here let's grab uh, it's a really low quality image so let's grab this one we give you a warning hey the uh, resolution is too low it might become blurry but if you want to do it uh, it's in there and it's uh, a little blurry now so we found two Twitter accounts you see the Twitter accounts over here and there's the uh, Armada uh, a Twitter account and you see the tweets uh, from Armada you also see the retweets uh, you can zoom into the tweets and you can browse uh, through them pretty fast if there is an uh, image inside we already show it over here and you can do retweeting and commenting over here it's all uh, native and there's also of course the Armin van Buren account and you see we implemented uh, his header uh, also decent Facebook account uh, the Facebook header, uh, the Facebook likes and comments uh, are all over here so you can um, uh, select them over there as well and we found the RSS feed and this is the RSS feed that we just found on the website well you can make it even more beautiful saying hey I want to see it in a cover flow so now you can browse through uh, the feed in a more gorgeous way so this is uh, what we scanned by default but of course Armin has more over here you can add blocks to your app and here you see the blocks so for example just making a phone call entering contact information filling a contact form uh, it's all in here uh, Armin has some events of course so we're gonna add an event block 
for events we've got lots of data sources you can have a google calendar uh, last of m app machine cms or bands in town well in this case let's try armin van buren and yes we're successfully connected to armin van buren and let's call this the gigs over here you can change the icon we provide you with uh, tons of icons already but of course you also can use uh, the web scan and grab an icon over here or you can do a search at, uh, at Google we give you a little warning about Google it's uh, look out for royalties uh, but here we can look for Armin van Buren as well and this looks like a nice one and uh, you can cut it out a little so this is my new icon yeah and these are the gigs of Armin you see the app immediately gets uh, all the information uh, of the gigs over there and we see the 15th there's a, a gig in Utrecht in Holland uh, I can share it I can show the route I can browse to another one for Minsk uh, he has a buy ticket link over here is uh, the uh, the map of Minsk uh, I can get routing information can do all things can buy uh, tickets over here and now it opens uh, the buy tickets uh, link that was provided through Benson Town. so it's really um, a good asset for DJs that they can sell their tickets straight from the app um, Facebook we already had it uh, Google Plus I think he has a Google Plus account as well so let's look for Armin van Buren yes there's Armin van Buren and uh, we'll put it in here as well and here is uh, Armin's Google Plus you see it's only configuring one parameter and it's all in there let's see music photos he has some uh, photos as well and uh, let's grab his photos from Facebook Armin van Buren let's see this is the Armin van Buren we're looking for 6.6 .6 million likes whoa and 39 albums well just put it in here the photos nice so over here you see the photos I can select the albums there are now three in a row if you want you can change the settings make it uh, a Polaroid view it's also a nice one uh, so showing off a little bit more and now you get uh, the photos uh, one by one uh, in the screen and if you select the photos you see the Facebook comments and likes as well so I can have a look at the comments over here and I can even uh, write my own comment of course he asks me uh, to log into uh, Facebook so that it's my own account that's uh, giving uh, the comments so um, let's see more interesting things points of interest if you want to add uh, points of interest to your app products products really funny let's say we have some um, uh, merchandise in here let's copy this difficult word and put some merchandise in the app want to have it a little over here in the navigation and I'm gonna add a product let's see let's do a search for merchandise Armin yes a black t-shirt great so we have a black t-shirt and the price is 25.50 and uh, yes this is a black t-shirt and put it in the app and add another one oops 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 this is a block I'm sorry add another one let's see if there are more merchandise for Armin and there is a white t-shirt as well and this is the white t-shirt and this one is a little more expensive 2750 uh, yes this is white so here we go so now we have a black and a white t-shirt in the app and you're able to browse through these two well uh, merchandise of course uh, this is a nice list but you also want to sell these things uh, we have a nice block if I jump to the premium blocks there is a checkout block uh, this checkout block is a connection to PayPal so by entering my email address as the merchant address and we call this checkout 
put it just in the app over here and let's say we pay in US dollars that's all there is uh, when I now go to my merchandise you see when I have the black t-shirt there's an add to cart option so now I'm able to add this shirt to the cart and uh, let's say I want to have three uh, four t-shirts and there's also the white t-shirt I'll add it to my cart and I've got four of those one of these and when I go to checkout we go to PayPal uh, we fill PayPal with the right information. Uh, PayPal sees I'm from Holland, so he's already uh, uh, filling it with the Dutch uh, version. This is my basket, and I can pay with PayPal, or I can pay with my uh, credit card. So you see, payment is uh, is integrated uh, by uh, by design in the app. Uh, why we separate the checkout from merchandise? Well, that's because. Um, you can have multiple blocks where you can sell things for example when I make a little jump to our pro blocks I could import some information from Excel uh, let's upload an Excel file uh, over here I have this flower shop file let me show you a little preview here are some flowers tulips it's not exactly what Armin van Buren would have in his app but anyway there's the description there is an uh, URL to the flowers and there is a price there's some categories in here and shops well what I do I just open this file and upload it uh, to our CMS uh, we found out there are three uh, uh, worksheets what we did already was uh, getting the first line in the spreadsheet as the headers uh, description I could make a description or so uh, can change it price we already found it out that's about money money is important if we see money then you can uh, buy it uh, in this app so there are sale and you see we've got lots of different uh, types of um, uh, fields so this is money great and these are the flowers it's a green block indicating that it's a pro block and here we have the flowers bring them up over here to the merchandise and this is really nice over here I have these flower names over here and I could drag in uh, an image of the flowers and immediately you see the flowers getting loaded on the phone and let's have a short description over here and the price over here the name make it a little more bold uh, and bigger yes that's better let's save it and there's also a detail screen of the app and we'll put the um, uh, the name over here and the longer description description or so it was called and let's put the image like this this is the bigger version name here we go and we could center the name like this so now we have the detail screen and I'm able to browse through the uh, details of the flowers in this way oops so here's the flowers and the nice thing is uh, when I select a flower I can add them to the cart because there was money involved so now I have uh, some shirts and some flowers so you say see playing with the app machine is really really fun to do well my main navigation is uh, um, uh, filling up uh, when I press the home screen I can show the navigation and there are now three columns and two rows when I change it to four columns uh, you see it uh, changing over there I could make it three rows and you can do all uh, funny things with it so it's aligned to the top if you want to have it aligned at the bottom it's um, all life uh, here we see the uh, icon size if you want you can change uh, the icon make it a little a uh, bit more bold so we've got the icon button you're able to uh, replace the button and make it yellow and black so this is yellow and black looks cool now the icon is too big so we make it a bit smaller here we go and let's align it to the bottom yes better giving it a top image 
um, we have the web scan of course grab an Armin over here this is a, a nice top image to use for my navigation and uh, the orange at the back is not exactly Armin van Buren so in my design here are the design options you see all the colors over here if you want to change the color of the icon making it red uh, you see now they're all red everything is uh, also done live over here ah there is my background i'm gonna replace it uh, we've got uh, some stock backgrounds that you can use uh, straight from our cms or we have a real nice integration with getty images over here and with Getty Images, you only pay 35 euros or 40 dollars to get 10 high quality images. Well, the good thing is you only pay for these images when you publish your app. So we have a deal with Getty Images. We are really uh, grateful for it. So if I'm going to look for, let's say, uh, uh, winter white, we'll do a lookup for uh, Getty uh, winter white and we get all really professional winter white images and we could zoom in here and say we'd like to have uh, winter white with women it's for his new CD so now we start uh, zooming in winter white images for women and that has to be a group of people so you can drill down through the uh, Getty images and let's say yes this is um, uh, the right one we could use uh, you see the uh, original copyright owner of the image and now you can cut out uh, the background that you want to have because the quality of the images is so big uh, we could just say this is my new background for my app so I'm cutting it out and the background is sent to the image right away uh, you could uh, play with overlay colors uh, as the background so I could uh, put some uh, red inside over there uh, to make uh, the, the, the text more uh, readable and the uh, red text uh, as seen over here uh, you could play with uh, the transparency and make it really uh, look uh, a bit more professional the design of the app this is now uh, my uh, icon design and you see uh, if you want uh, you can make changes to the design i selected uh, the orange skin but uh, i regret it I, I i actually wanted to have a, a, a nice uh, a purple one and you see you now have a completely new uh, designed app uh, with the same uh, content only in a different design so you've got lots of uh, freedom in uh, designing your beautiful app so once you are uh, uh, ready with your app uh, you can uh, publish your app over here is the publish information for the uh, the different stores the Google Play the Apple uh, you can enter your information and once you're ready you can go to the buy now and here you see I have a developer app so it's costing a thousand euros and I used the checkout block and the checkout block was an, uh, an uh, advanced block that we uh, uh, pay separately so for 1328 euros I am ready to buy my app well once your app is uh, uh, published we do the publishing for you and once it's published you want to know what uh, people uh, uh, did with your app and we have an analyze option over here well, uh, because your app isn't downloaded that much yet, we can show you an impression of how your analytics would look like. So here you see the analytics. Uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't fit on my screen exactly. Uh, here's the world map and you see the actual downloads of your app and where the downloads were done from. Uh, you see uh, the usage iOS, uh, Android, a little bit more iOS than Android the socials you see the uh, usage of your app blocks you can zoom into the blocks see how many clicks people did and how long they uh, were in your app so you get it all out of the box well thank you for uh, having a little look at my beautiful app build platform called app machine